it is like sharing love and mercy. You're supposed to share it and grow it. And we take it from our perspective na bakit iba-iba? It is coming from in a verse, I think in Acts, that we are given varied grace. So, tapos tinago mo lang? Parang ganun. So, siguro sabi Lord, lo! <laughs> Parang ganun. <laughs> The word of God is flawless and it's like a gold refined seven times. In the context of the church, it's evangelism. We have to evangelize people. Isn't Jesus supposed to be forgiving? Why was the servant sent out right away? Actually, binigyan na ng chance. There was a time for you to work for it. Sa pagbabalik ni Jesus, He would want us to be the people na doing His work. At ano yung trabaho ng Diyos? To spread the gospel of truth. Parang again, chili con carne yan ni Tina Ryan. Ano? <laughs> Wow. So, you can't help but share it to other people. Oh. <laughs> Spread the good news. This podcast is powered by Podcast Network Asia and Podmetrics. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Narrow Door Podcast. We are on YouTube. We are on Spotify. So come on in. My name is Sam. We got Tina I'm Ryan. Tina Ryan. <laughs> yes. You know. Thank you because I know. Sabi mo, mabagal na naman ako. <laughs> Sige, ulitin mo na lang. My name is Sam O. Tina Ryan here. And we have Brother J. Paul Hernandez, who is lay preacher at the Feast. Instructor Harold Resho is instructor at New Heaven and New Earth Shinshiki Church of Jesus. We're missing Pastor D today. Ba't kayo natatawa? Ano ba yan? <laughs> Brother, Not J. Brother J. Paul. <laughs> Why? You can't, can't hear the tinarayan. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. All right. Before we started recording this episode, we were talking yeah. about Tina's name. Tina Ryan. This is not her real name. This is her radio name. Although Tina is your real name. But there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a story behind this name. Tell us. Mm-hmm. Tina, how did you end up being Tina Ryan? Because back in the day, we couldn't use our real name. So the Tina came about uh, when uh, during training... Uh, from the 300 people who turned in their audition cassette tapes, they better narrow cassette. down. What's cassette tape? It's the area. So, narrow down na yung mga finalists. So, lima na lang kami. Tapos yung may whiteboard sa station noon. Pangalan ko yung nandun sa pinakababa ng whiteboard. Ang laki pa nung space. So, may ano, koloko yung na nagsimula. Sumula. Um, but like right beside my name, Tina, Tina. Ah, Tina, all the um, all the well, all the possibilities. Yes, Tina. I think it, the first one was Tina Likuran. That was <laughs> Tina Pakan, <laughs> Tina Gusan. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God! Oh, uh, kanon. Ano ba may isa pa? Eh? Tina Rantado, <laughs> Tina Tina Gusan, <laughs> Tina Pa. And dami. Oh, oh. And dami, de ba? Hanggang pa ina lino tuwa si dadun sa Tina Ryan. Because it rolls down nicely out of your mouth. Tina Ryan. Yes. Pinaganda. Uh-uh. So actually, Tina Ryan siya. Yung Tagalog Tina Ryan na Tina Ryan. <laughs> But now we just say Tina Ryan. Oh, it's uh-uh. so shala. <laughs> Tina Ryan. Hey, can we talk about your new food venture? Because, okay, Tina is, is a phenomenal cook. Brother J2 <gasps> is, oh. yeah, a, a really good cook. I haven't tasted your food though brother jay but i've only oh, seen uh, your i've only seen your instagram post and they look amazing so the can the can man the can man brother jay but um tina makes an a great chili we are all such big fans of her chili if you guys Thank haven't you guys. ordered it yet please do but you're now moving on to another dish what is this it's just the simplest The dish sa tabi-tabi sa Mexico, <laughs> chicken carnitas. Wow! But, pero kasi, di ba nga, it's when when I combine recipes, like usually when I cook, uh, hanapin mo yung recipe, kukombine ko na lang hanggang matama, yung, matama ko dun sa flavor na gusto ko. So hmm. medyo, ang damot naman, di ba, dahil sa panglasa ko, inaakma yung, yung recipe. Pero look naman, nagustuhan nyo din. It's so good. It's, so, it's life changing. So, sana, it's like receiving itong... the Holy Spirit as food. <laughs> so, yeah, parang it's it's up there. Ganon, ganon, ganon katindi. Dude, coming from a preacher, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So, is Mexican food your favorite? Because I have to say, it's pretty up there for me. Top five. Uh, 
Ako Korean actually, ang top five ko. But yeah, but Mexican hindi naman sa favorite. But it's just what I miss it and we don't have, parang, ang sama naman sabihin, Brother Jaina, walang masarap masyado. Hindi, that's not the word. Wala, wala pang nakakasatisfy nung certain taste na hinahanap ko dito. Kasi you, But, ano, you lived in the States kasi and you were exposed oh, to like really legit Mexican food. Oh, yeah. Talking about yung mga nasa tabi lang na, I mean, I even went to Tijuana to eat like street tacos, rosarito for this and that, diba? So, meron na akong hinahanap na certain taste na it has to hit that, uy, oh, that hit the spot. Mm-hmm. Kasi di ba maminsan masarap guys, pero may kulang. So, yun yung dinedevelop ko lagi. Kaya nga, may parang okay. andamot pakinggan, huh? diba? Oh, recipe ko to, kailangan masatisfy ko yung ang pangit. Pero, at least, sa chili na to me, na perfect ko na yung recipe ko, na, nagustuhan nyo. Masaya na ako dun. But isn't that what all food entrepreneurs are doing? I mean, they rely on their own taste buds and how, you know, they come up with these recipes. The chefs, di ba? I mean, maalat ako kung standard. Maalat kasi ako kumain. Kaya Dennis would always remind me, oh, hindi pwedeng ganyang kaalat kasi hindi naman lahat ng ano, tao ganyang kaalat kumain. Di ba? Mm, mm. <laughs> Pero ako, because <laughs> I'm sensitive to the salty, but your chili, I didn't find salty at all. Uh, It's guys, the beer. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there is a secret ingredient that is a beer. Don't tell them which beer. But okay, just <laughs> can you guys order this? Just yeah, you 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 will not regret it. It's just the best. Okay. After we order, bakal mabusang kami pag yung order na kayo. Then, Sobrang sarap you. talaga. Like yeah. oh my god. Like uh, eh, serio so talagang like kasi I've tried chili in America. Eh, but to talagang ay, wow. grabe, life changing talaga to. <laughs> talagang wise like, si brother that's, Jay. That's alam mo that's tina may. Ano. Yun yung kinukuha my mother ko, in, brother Jay. My mother-in-law makes chili din. Tapos sabi ko, Mom, uh, <gasps> I love you. Yun lang. But I really love this chili kasi talagang grap. <laughs> ah, ganda kasi nung texture. Parang after mo, di ba, may, <gasps> parang may, may gumaganon ulit. Tapos, ah, bagong flavor yun ah. <gasps> parang napapag... Yun na like, every kum- nung kumakain na, as in like natawa si Viv kasi kinakain ko na lang siya ng siya lang. Tapos para ako... Ano ba? Ito talaga pinifigure out kung ano yung nilalagay. Okay. Si Basta dumating Jay, na yung malaking pot, yun na yung importante. Dumalaki, may pero, yung malaki kung kaldero dumating. Yung sinabi ni Tina na ganun din yung feeling ko sa Holy Spirit eh. Pag na-receive mo na yung Holy Spirit, parang wala na ibang makapag-satisfy sa'yo. Ganun ko na, ganun ko na feel yung talagang kinikwento niya. Parang ganun din si Lord eh. Pag natikman mo na yung pag-ibig niya, wala nang ibang makapag-satisfy. Uy, nagsastruggle pa ako dyan sa Holy Spirit. Medyo okay. kailangan ko pang ano, laliman yung faith ko. Kasi hindi ko pa siya, alam mo yun, it's the hurry. Medyo nagsastruggle pa. Nagsastruggle pa ako dun sa ano, sa idea ng Holy Spirit, guys. Mali mo, magpakita sa'yo sa pagpunta natin na Holy Land. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs> I just want to see how Brother Jay is just giving the best testimonials. Like, talking about it, you know, in line with the Holy Spirit. It is inspiring him to talk about God. He's willing to jeopardize his relationship with his mother-in-law comparing their <laughs> chilies. Guys, ewan ko na lang ha. Ewan ko na lang. Mm. Meron siya nagawang ano, yung name ng magiging business ni Tina Ryan. What is it? Say it. Say it. What is it? Tina Ryan Mexican oh, House. <laughs> Papasok ng mataray, uuwi ng busog. <laughs> All this food talk is making us hungry. It really is. But, you know, I'm looking forward to the chicken carnitas, Tina. I, I'm so, Two yeah. weeks, guys. Two weeks. Mexican food is awesome. I'm just happy someone is here trying to figure out the legit recipe for all these delicious Mexican Actually, dishes. Actually, so you're going to eat it. Because, like, the worry ko, I like create, making steak. Because it's going to be So, when I sent it to you, it's not like that. It's okay. So, oh, okay. Lang yan. I think, okay lang Brother yun. Jay, okay na okay lang sa akin yun. <laughs> Alam mo ba, Brother Jay, Instahan, ang tagal ko nang gustong padalan si Sam, lalo na nung kasagsaga ng first lockdown. Super afraid lang ako sa, ano niya, sa magiging verdict niya. Because Sam, like, one of 
one not just because I used to work with her and I adore her and now we're actually doing this podcast together. But before, like I was a fan of Sam and her food reviews. Super nervous oh, yes. si Sam. No, no, and no, no, pat- no, no. I am no food critic, guys. And really, no. I will be rated O. <laughs> that actually was the show that I was doing at that time. But the thing is. You know, I just really like food, but I don't think I have like a very discerning palate or any sort of expert. You know, hindi ganon. I just really enjoy food. Anyway, we're a food show now, apparently. But I, <laughs> I, I enjoy this. I enjoy this. Spiritual we're, food <laughs> show. Yeah, spiritual oh, food show. Ganda nun. Yung galeng. I wrote oh. an ebook, food for the soul. Ola lang. Oh, oh, how do we get this? Oh, it's free. It's we're launching it for um those who request for prayers. It's a gift for from the feast. So nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go from like actual food to spiritual food because we are doing the parables. We just started Matthew chapter 25 um at, on the last episode. After the parable of the 10 versions, we have the parable of the talents, right? So that is what we are gonna talk about today. Um, as usual, we are gonna start by Hearing the parable first, we have our Bible reader, Teen Ryan. This is found oh. in Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. Are you guys ready? I am yep. so ready. I'm going to read it again. And I'm just happy that you guys are there to break it down for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same here. Let's hear it. Break it down. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one, he gave five talents of money, to another, two talents, and to another, one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with the two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with the two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received the one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have not put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I return, I would have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give him Give it to the one who has the 10 talents, for everyone who has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's kind of harsh. It is. It is. Again. Um, mm. Uh-uh. Le- like the parable that we discussed in the last episode, the one with the 10 virgins, Dibad, like that was very sobering. We were talking about how, yes, that is about the second coming and how there's going to be a judgment at that time. And I'm assuming this is in the same vein. And the master here who is coming back, I don't know, I feel like parang there are little hints that, again, this is Jesus, right? Yes. Si Jesus yung master. Kasi babalik nga daw siya. Yes. Bakit ba? harsh naman niya? <laughs> Ito na naman may hugot na naman. <laughs> okay. Parang <laughs> ginagalit siya. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Parang kasi, di ba si Jesus ka bawal magalit? <laughs> Parang... Nagalit nga siya sa mga, ano nun, sa mga Israelites nun when they made the temple of God na nagbebenta sila dun mga doves. Oh. He flipped the tables! Oo. Oo. Yeah. I want to, you give me that verse so I can read it. Yeah. Siyan na pauso ng flip table. 
<laughs> Oo, siya talaga yon guys. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I think the confusing part maybe for me is like, yeah, how come some were given, how come they were given different amounts? And then, oh, oh. yung may konti, kinuha pa. Eh, yung mga ganyan. Yeah. Okay. Where do we start? Maybe for this one, Brother J, you can start. Kasi yung sa... The first Virgins. Oh, oh, si Insta Harry. Insta Harry. Okay, pressure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yung yung talent for those who are listening or watching for the first time, yung talent hindi siya talent like si Sam like and like so tina love kita de ba pero si Sam ang for me in my opinion the best host in the galaxy. So, of course. Siguro, ikaw, yung ganon. So I never claimed. <laughs> No, no, no. This is an inside joke, guys. Okay? It's, it's not, <laughs> ano. Don't take this seriously. Go ahead. Okay, it sure so, is. <laughs> so, akala ko noong una, syempre, when I was younger, akala ko talent na ganun. Like, that was, ah, oh, siguro, ta- learned talent. But no, ta- yung talent is a measure of money. Like, so, dati denari, ganyan, currency siya. Mm. Okay, so, FYI lang. Um, alala mo yung, umiyok ako, ah. I'm already in my 30s. I was, I was gonna ignore it. Nice. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. But anyway, what's going on with me? I'm going to mature. I'm going to mature. I'm going to mature. What do I say? Okay, so um, there, there was a, a few episodes back when we talked about the treasure. Yes. Diba yung 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 nahu, yung yung treasure he hide, diba na, nag-stumble siya. As, ah, okay, na, may treasure he hide ko. So, yung hiding the treasure underneath soil. <laughs> yung dinig niya, that was a common ancient practice kasi nga hindi pa uso yung BDO security bank DP wala pang ganun so you you hide your treasure under your house under your soil ganyan so so it was usual and i was um uh, studying my dear bishop baron and in his in his um context it is like sharing love and mercy you're supposed to share it and grow it and we take it from our perspective na bakit iba-iba it is coming from um in a verse i think in acts that we all have we are given varied grace iba-ibang iba-ibang levels of grace depending on god we, it depends on our purpose we will never know but you know who would ever thought na si Sam O would you know cre- now would start narrow door diba like it, when she was being formed in her mother's womb, God knew her. So Sam, tas Jeremiah, tas, diba, tas, you know, you, you, Sam, you've, you had many, you know, falters or, or sin, just like us. But still, God didn't see that. God still chose to prepare His plan for you. And you just said yes. And now look at us. And, you know, maybe after COVID, we will all be, you know, I'm prophesying here, we'll be in... Holy you know, Land we'll pilgrimage. Holy land, you know. We'll land at Tel Aviv and then we'll ride a bus to Galilee. And, and you, you never know. But, you know, so who fun. could have imagined, Sam, who could have imagined that you would step in Feast Green Hills or any feast that matter? Parang, and, and we would be friends. So, but, yung parang, I think last episode, um, Insta H was saying, lahat tayo may opportunity to hear God's word and lahat tayo may opportunity to love. May opportunity to give, to serve. And, all, and si God na nga yung prime mover, we're all just responding to His love. So, so tapos tinago mo lang. Parang ganun. So, dun, dun parang, la. Mapag ganun. So, la. Oh, imagine ko lang, in my, in my, Vision of God. Siguro sabi, Lord, lo! <laughs> Parang gano'n. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's, that's how I would inter- um, explain the very, very uh, um, gene- basic way. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I, ito yun, Mama. The, the talent is God's word? Or... Oh, I have a feeling in Star is gonna say it's that. Sorry. But, 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 here's the thing. I mean, 
Yes, because where Brother Jay is coming from is God is so generous with us. Diba? He gives us everything, not just material things. You know, he's a, he's a provider. He's a good father like that. But he also showers us with the grace and he orchestrates everything in our lives so that we can find him. Although, you know, as Brother Jay says, God is the prime mover. He's planned this all along. And of course, it's going to depend on how we respond to it. But he's always trying to draw us close to him. And so when God gives us so much and extends all of that to us, are we now just going to keep all of that to ourselves? You remember in the Ten Virgins parable conversation, you were like, but not damot yung oil? Like, but not pag pagdamot yung the you know everything that God gives us. I think is where Brother Jay is coming from. Mm-mm. Which, yeah, which I agree naman. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so, which brings us to Insta Harry. Insta Harry, is this about the word again? <laughs> Before I answer that question, kagaya na sinabi ni Brother Jay, we all have the opportunity to love. And I really love Brother Jay. Um, we may oh. not be always seeing eye to eye with how we <laughs> understand the Bible. <laughs> But actually, I agree dun sa part na uh, he explained na, guys, hindi ito yung talent na you know how to dance uh, or you know how to sing. Uh, it's, uh, it's pertaining to... Uh, uh, Can we all do this together? <laughs> guys! <laughs> measurement of weight. Na ang, ang katumbas nitong talent na to is, uh, ano nga ba yun? 75 pounds of gold or silver. Oh. Kaya sa ibang versions ng Bible nitong Matthew chapter 25, it mentions that the master gave three, uh, five, na bago na, five <laughs> bags of gold, two bags of gold, and one bag of gold. And yung katumbas niya is a huge amount of money because imagine, 75 um, pounds of gold, it's like 35 kilos of gold. Mm-hmm. Tapos limang ganon, ibibigay sa'yo. And then, ang bigat nun. <laughs> exactly. And then, ang ginawa, nung the master gave it to the servants dun sa una, lima yung binigay, and then he was able to gain five more, so naging ten. Dun sa second mm-hmm. servant, he received two, and then he gained two more, naging four. But dun sa panghuli, he received one um, talent, but tinago niya lang, and then when the master came back, nag-check na yung master, and then Anangyare. So he was rebuked. Now, if you only put that talent into the bank, it would have uh, earned some interest. So if we will connect it dun sa next um, in the previous episode about the pearl and the treasury, the precious stones, the gold, the silver, for us, the way we understand it, it's so precious. Na it's um, the way we understand it, it's God's word. Because in Psalms chapter 12, verse ding, 6, ding, ding. Yeah. So, the word of God is flawless and it's like a gold refined seven times. So, kung yun yung ibibigay sa atin. Because, again, when we will be receiving God's word, ano yung dapat natin gawin? We have to work for it. Hindi lang yung basta ikimikimin mo na lang sa sarili mo, hide it for yourself. Because that's part of our life of faith. To be able to share God's word. Kumbaga, in the context of the church, it's evangelism. We have to evangelize people. And dun sa story na yon, the two servants who did well, ano yung sabi? Sabi ng master, they are good and faithful servants. Mm-hmm. But the other one, he was wicked and a lazy servant. And then, ano yung naging consequence? He was kicked out. Aww. He was thrown into the place where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. And we all know na, that's judgment. So we all, as believers of God, syempre ang ego goal natin, maging good and faithful servants of God, and that's why we have to evangelize as well. Um, as um, people uh, or as Christians, we believe na it's our duty to evangelize as well. Pero not necessarily na dapat you would have to really become a pastor first or a Bible instructor first in order for you to be able to teach God's Word. But in your life, since you receive God's Word, diba it changes you to be a better person, to be created in the image and likeness of God. So, mm-hmm. then when the people around you see na, oy, parang nagbago ka. There's something new in you. And what is that? That's even a chance that you can evangelize people. You can tell them na, I, you know what, I'm now studying the Bible. Or maybe, uh, 
basically that's an open door for you to be able to share God's word to them. Kumbaga parang you are like an ambassador ambassador of God, like a walking billboard na you are promoting God and his word. And that's why this podcast is really a very good avenue for us to be able to share God's word as well. Kasi um, we believe na ito yung magiging Um, if I may say responsibility natin sa Diyos na we also work for Him na ma-share itong truth na to sa buong mundo. I think, Ooh. ang ano ko lang, ang, ang tanong ko lang dito is why was the servant not even given another chance? Pero ang sobrang harsh, agad niyong pinalaya siya. If, if you guys, di ba, and sorry, if, you, if you're refer, referring to the talents as word of God, and um, Parang, kasi diba, diba forgive me si Jesus? Mm-hmm. Parang, ang akin lang is, bakit hindi siya nabigyan ng sa pang chance? At bakit isang talent pang binigay sa kanya? Okay. Diba, bakit din naman? Kaya siguro, napag-isip-isip din niya. Bakit pa? Diba? Ay, sa bagay, di naman natin alam kung alam niya na yung ibang servants na may yung talent, yung isa-dalawa. But, you know, I and mean, then kidding aside is, isn't Jesus supposed to be forgive me? Why was the servant sent out right away? If I may answer. Una. Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting both from both of you, actually. <laughs> Sige, ako na lang muna, Brother Jay. Uh, because, actually, in-explain doon bakit lima, bakit dalwa, bakit isa. It's according to their ability hmm. na ibibigay sa kanila. And, <laughs> okay, okay. And even though we have different abilities or iba-iba man yung amount of talent that we will be receiving from God, we all have the same goal na mamultiply natin siya or that we have to work for it. We have to share God's word. Now, dun sa aspect that why Jesus is not giving him uh, a second chance, um, the way I look at it is... Uh. Actually, binigyan na ng chance. There was a time for you to work for it. And also, it's important na um, in the Bible, we have to know kasi there's a time for everything. So, sa pagbabalik ni Jesus, yun na, magkakaroon talaga ng, ano, ng judgment. Kasi sa pagbabalik ni Jesus, He would want us to be the people na doing His work. At ano yung trabaho ng Diyos? To spread the gospel of truth. At yun yung chance na ibinibigay sa atin. May time naman na binigay, hindi naman, oh, eto na. Tapos, that's final. Hindi. God is giving us the chance. And that's why, again, uh, we emphasize here na whenever God is giving us the chance, we should not waste it and instead be a person na after receiving God's word na makakapag-produce ng fruit. Yun yung magiging goal natin. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think the parables kasi, they are like Uh, an encapsulated version of how God works, perhaps. Because like we know, as Tina pointed out, God is a merciful God. In fact, He's so merciful. Sometimes, parang tayo, when we look at someone, like, bakit hindi pa siya judge na? Because like, you know, when I look at this person, like, you know, this person should have been judged like 10 times over or whatever. But God's heart is not like that. Um, and so we already know this about God. And I don't think a parable is really a literal, uh, a literal, a literal representation of how things work in the kingdom with God. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The thing that jumps out to me again, and maybe that's the theme of Matthew 25 is the judgment that's going to happen. Because here we are again, right? And again, the theme of hindi basta-basta yung heaven. There's something that we need to do on our end as well. We have to do our Work part. Work for it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Exactly. That's kind of the common thing with the Ten Virgins parable and now this parable. Over to you, Brother Jay. And then, then. <laughs> um, No, no. Ang ganda ng question ni, ni Tina. And what I love about your question is that church fathers have thought about this. Ba't ganun? Ba't ganito sila? Bakit ganyan? And, and that is also answered. You know, ingay, para lahat tayo binigay ng varied grace. 
and it's still in the Bible. Um, honestly, we we're not worthy. <gasps> we, we we're not worthy of even one talent. Because oh. we're we're and and the talent is just based on God's generosity. So, paano ba ito ganyan? Because all of us have a simple, a different, uh, dito ang, diyan kasi pumapasok, nabubuksan yung pintuan ng predestination eh. So, medyo malalim siyang usapan na basically, lahat tayo may gift si Lord, may value na binigay si Lord, pero also because we are just a minimal uh, speck in the bigger story of God's story. So, iba-iba tayo ng purpose na, na piniplay in, in this story. So, maybe, you know, for example, uh, Mary had more purpose or talent than me because she actually bore the Son of God. And, and that's okay. Because it's God's will. So, That I'm for those who are listening. That is more of a reflective questioning, deductive reflection. Ha, hindi yan like. Eto na siya bini brother Jay Paul mas okay. Relax. Eto yung mga kailangan natin pag-iisipan habang ninanam nam natin yung salita ng just for for those who are listening. Um, yeah, I mean, we we have to understand that if God gives purpose or grace or blessing, whatever choice na yan. Because he is the author of the universe, so we're just here to submit. Because we have to remember the start, the beginning of Matthew, or really what the gospel is about, is about God's kingdom. It is not about the word. Um, it is about the word bagay sa akin. Because what we do sometimes as humans is ah, ito yung bin parang I don't know the English of inaayon. Inaayon natin yung salita ng Dios sa buhay natin. Ina-adjust? Yun! <laughs> Parang ganun. I think that's the nearest interpretation. Uh, we, pero sa totoo, dapat ina-adjust timing. or ina-ayon. Ina-timing. Huh? Pag ina-ayon, di ba? I don't know. Oh, basta ina-adjust. Let's just use the word adjust. We're adjusting God's word or God's message sometimes to what is um, convenient or comfortable for us. But in And reality... We are the ones supposed to adjust to God's word and, and to His kingdom. because Not because He's KJ, but because when we follow Him, there is fullness and joy. Doon po mapasok, I don't know, siguro one time we'll talk about the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Joy, love, peace. And, 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 and that's why I think kami nila Instahari, nila Instructor Abby, nila Pastor Dennis, nila ni ni Pastora Sam, um, Sister Sam, lahat kasi ng ano ano siya, eh, na wala kasing, I, I, I know, di ba, gets mo to, um, Insta H, yung, wala kasi tayong plak na pinangahawakan na we've received God, pero, wala sa mundong makakabag, wala talaga eh, yung, you, you know, Sam, Sam, di ba, yung, may iba talaga eh, na, pag natikman mo ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na totoo, talagang it's never gonna be the same again. And, and it's just so beautiful. And, and you're, you're... It's, it's so beautiful. It's just like... Parang ito yung mga tao, kunyari, kukain ka ng ribeye every single day or ng chili con every day na yung ganun-ganun kasarap. <laughs> kakain ng masarap na napunta sa pagkain. Hindi. Kakain tayo ng masarap na ribeye mm. at chili. Tapos, Brother J. Nabitin kami Sorry. Brother Nabit, J. Oo. <laughs> Nagutom lang kami. Ano ba? Uh, Nagutom. <laughs> hindi. Parang yung, yun nga, yung pinakamasarap na pagkain na gusto mong kainin pa ulit-ulit. Mm. Yun yung salita mm. ng Diyos. Mm. Na pag natikman mo na, yun na lang yung gusto mong kainin. Like, like, like for example, we've tasted the chili of of um, Pina. Para no other no other chili can compare or like 'di ba sabi ni Tina kaya siya nagluluto nagluluto because hindi niya may hinahanap siyang lasa na hinahanap talaga niya na parang ganun. And then once she gets it, yun na yun. 
<gasps> Parang word din yun. Oh, Ganon? Oh, one, yeah, we oh, have... That's so good. Ooh. Oh. That's from... Yeah, it is beautiful. That is yeah. beautiful. Okay. Guys, so, we're like really ah, killing it with the food parallels today. Yes, Tina. Hindi, para kasi tama nga si Brother J. Paul and in Sahari na andito na yung andito na nga yung word of God. Pero tayo yung tayo yung nagbibigay ng nagdidikta no? Kung kailan dapat aralin. You mean the hindi, timing of it? Oo, oh, oh, hindi pala dapat ganun. Dapat talaga, di ba? Kasi you know, you say, oh, life happens because we have work, we have this. Kumbaga, in a nutshell, we really have to make time. Yes. I mean, I, and I think that's my realization on the show Priority. as well. Yeah. Priorities. Which I touched on on the last episode. Kasi nga, you know, these guys awakened in me this desire to understand the word mm. of God. Like, I can profess this faith all I want, but if I don't know my Bible, um, parang may kulang. Like uh-huh. if you want, if you want the wholeness and the fullness of the faith, I feel like the Bible needs to be a part of that. Uh huh. So, and then timing-wise, I mean, ideally, this is something that we already know at a very young age, and you know, we are acquainted with the Bible all our lives. But that's not quite how it pans out. It didn't mm. pan out like that for me. Didn't pan mm-hmm. out like that for you. But is it too late for us? No. Kasi nga, di ba, Instahari, perfect timing. Si Lagi, God. alam, uh, oh, alam ni God yung perfect timing for each and every one of us. Yeah. Yes. Like, case dito, sa narrow door, who would have thought that we will be here together? Mm, appear. Perfect timing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Disappear. <laughs> <laughs> one half, one four. <laughs> You guys do that when you were young. <laughs> 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 Wait, tama, disappear ganyan, di ba? Yes! Disappear, disappear. One, <laughs> yun, guys. One. Ba? Okay, can I, can I talk about another thing? Um, kasi disappear. yung... <laughs> ang babaw, ang babaw. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yung sa... The aspect of evangelization, right? Because... um. I think, Insta Harry, what you were saying kanina was, I think people think when they hear the word evangelizing, they think they have to be a preacher. They have to, you know, pick up their Bible and go knocking on people's doors. Oh my goodness, please don't do that in a time of COVID. Do not. Uh-huh. You will not be welcome. Um, but you know what I mean? Like the, the idea of evangelization, I think also changed for me as I started understanding the faith more. Because all of us, first of all, it's... um. It's a command that is given to all of us, isn't it? It's the Great Commission. That yes. applies to all the people who are in the faith. We are supposed to share the joy of the faith. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the capacity of preaching. In fact, uh-uh. you know, it's, what is that quote? Parang evangelize always and when necessary, use words. It's more effective talaga like when you just share how you're changing, how you're so happy and peaceful because you found the faith. And Sam, hmm. weren't we just talking about that last night? About Catholic? Oh no, yesterday how I found this. I uh, know I found this YouTube channel. Hmm. Uh oh, said ko ganon. Uh, in Sahari, brother J. Paul, parang this Protestant guy is discussing with this theologian about the Catholic. Bible. Catholic. Like, a Catholic. Na parang over lunch. Na parang super casual. It, it shouldn't be hard. We're discussing the word of God, it would, it would, which is beautiful. Yeah. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be hard. It should come natural. Yeah. Oh, man. I wish we could plug his YouTube because, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty great. And he does a lot of these things. Like He just opens up to a lot of the denominations. Very similar to our show, which is ecumenical. Exactly. Oh, you burn 10-minute Bible something? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That one. That one. That one. That one. Oh, that one. I, like, I, was... I like his shows. Yeah. I like oh, yeah. him. He's, a, so... he's very... Yeah, well, that's denominational judgment. Yes. So, yeah, so Tina was um, just kind of blown away by how, oh, wow, these are, these are super casual conversations. They just meet up over lunch. They talk about Jesus and the faith, and they're from different churches. And yeah, which is in vain with, I think, what I'm trying to say, na, 
evangelization doesn't have to be like hardcore. Oh, Preach oh. it. Hindi yung uh-uh. ganun. And we're all called to do it. Which, okay, leads me to my question. To bring it back to the parable. Because what this parable, if evangelization nga itong sinasabi in the parable, now we uh-huh. all have a duty to share the word. And if you don't do it, you are wicked. Ganun ba yun? So again, if I'm gonna connect it to heaven, in order to enter heaven, I have to evangelize. Ganun ba yun? Siguro, uh, I'll answer first. Um, parang again, chili con carne yan ni Tina Ryan. Ano? Why? <laughs> How? You can't help but share it to other people. Oh. <laughs> Spread the good news. Oh. Ang sarap talaga. <laughs> parang ganun. Di ba same thing when we receive God's word na parang gustong-gusto natin sabihin sa mga tao na yeah, God's word has changed me. And yun nga, not necessarily na kailangan mo nang um, you get a Bible, you open it to someone and then explain everything. Hindi pa naman dun eh. Pwedeng in, even in your simple life na makita na to. And But going back to answer the question, let's look at the scripture because in Matthew chapter 7, Not everyone who calls to me, Lord, Lord, will be able to enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So, ano yung will ng Diyos? For us to be able to share His word, for the people to come to the knowledge of truth. And that's why si Jesus mismo in explain niya, um, he was talking to the Israelites during that time, and he said that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and be given to the people who will be able to produce its fruits. Kasi yung pagpuproduce ng fruit for us to um, share God's word at um, dumami tayo, that's part of God's will. And that's why in John chapter 15, in explain din ni Jesus that the Father's glory is that we will bear much fruit and that is a way of us showing that we are the disciples of Jesus. So if we are really followers of Jesus, we believe in Him, we call ourselves Christians, then we must be able to bear much fruit to show God's glory. So, kung titignan natin, it's really our duty to be able to spread the gospel even to the ends of the earth. At yun yung nakapangako din doon. And if we understand that this is God's will, and if we are the children of God, hindi ba mas masarap yung feeling na we are on the side of God and we are working with Him? At yun nga, hindi naman kailangan na hardcore na Bible tapos explain mo na lahat. But, I just want to clarify as well na hindi ito yung magiging only basis for you to be able to enter heaven. But this is part of our duty as believers of God. Kasi commandment yun. Um, I mean, the Great Commission, you've mentioned about it a while ago, na ma-share natin ito to the ends of the earth. So our hope is to be able to do God's will and when we are able to do that, be able to enter heaven. Ooh. I drop. <laughs> Kaso lagot tayo sa PNA pag dinrap talaga ni ni <laughs> Harry yung kanyang mic. So, Please don't do that. Yes, it's my pet peeve. Um, what's this? And see, this is what I mean. Na, if I did not have this conversation with you guys about this parable, I wouldn't have known that evangelizing is this important. Mm-mm. I mean, I know that obviously it's a good thing. We should be doing it. But when we discuss this parable, it sounds to me like, guys, this is a requirement. Okay? I mean, it's not the only requirement, but it's a requirement. Uh-huh. Right? Dude, I wouldn't have known that. It's just a gift. Because it's a gift. It's a gift. It's a kung susulohin natin, ang selfish nga naman natin. Mm-mm. And may, ano, may point si about your chili, right? Because what did we do? When we tasted your chili, what did I do? I posted about it on Instagram. We yes. talked about it on this podcast because it's so uh-uh. good. And it's like, oh my goodness, the world needs to know about this. And the faith is kind of like that. When I uh-uh. started understanding like what practicing the Catholic faith meant and how it felt in my life, I couldn't help but talk about it. Like I couldn't, mm-hmm. I couldn't shut up about it even if I tried. Parang ganun. And the word eva- evangel what what's the word again evangel evangelism na lang oh simple evangelism na lang is so big sometimes so parang 
may ano may stigma eh, na yeah ah, like oh my gosh yeah so, <laughs> di ba mag <laughs> di ba parang na ah, okay pag mag ano di ba so siguro yung mga tayo mga tao kasi where, where am I going with this Sam is parang okay why is it hard for us to share the word of God or even the word Jesus parang may stigma na hmm mm. tabu tabu di ba hindi naman lahat tanggap si Cristo or whatever when we can talk about anything over lunch so why can't we be why can't we do the same about the word of God like Tina di ba when you talk about how you wanted to know more about the faith why you wanted to study the Bible you're saying that you saw how your fiance was suddenly, you know, joining these groups. And he was talking about God with a bunch Three of new times friends. times a week. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, hey, I want that for myself. And I think yeah. that's, uh oh, that's really a the form. Most that's a form. Yeah. Uh, like, a form was, he, was he, like, actively talking to you? Like, hey, you know, talking no. about you. Diba? Like, what happened to that? No pressure from him. And him. Parang nga eh, kasi nga men for Jesus sila, di ba? So parang, ito pwero nga ako, it's the hard. You can't Jay. join. <laughs> di ba? Parang two, two hours Monday, parang Monday was it Friday. Us. Oo, parang di ako kasama. Naintrigo ako. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> oo, kasi, But sinabihan ka ba nang you can't sit with us? Parang ganun. Oo. Hindi, tsaka, and then, ano eh, sometimes they would put, he would uh, put them on speakers kasi he'd be doing something on the speaker phone. Ang saya nila pakinggan. Mm. It's if they're not, alam mo yun, kasi parang before when we talk about, when we talk about Jesus or the word, parang di ba may, may he, sobrang parang seryoso. Pwede. I, I, I understand that, yeah. Parang super seryoso na, oh, hindi naman ako parapat dapat. Parang ganun yung feeling, but like hearing them and they're laughing and they're sharing stories, parang, uy, galing nito ah. Oh. Diba? Mm. So, Sure. I just want to share. I was on the same uh, parang position with Tina before na I thought before yung born again was so parang boring. Ay, ayan yung alive, alive. <laughs> evermore. Parang ganun lang sila. Tapos, yun nga, when I became a Christian in 2012, tapos in-invite ako ng friend ko and then uh, we attended this church, ganyan-ganyan. And then, yun, nag-convert ako. I told him, bakit hindi mo sinabi sa akin? Because we were classmates since high school. Why didn't you tell me na masaya pala yung buhay dito? Na ganito pala yung ginagawa nyo. And yun lang, I, I, I feel you when you mention na parang ganito pala siya, masaya pala siya, hindi pala, siya, hindi pala boring yung buhay when we are with God. Or seryoso. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. And I think a lot of um, what we practice in the faith is like that. Like, if you're coming from a viewpoint where you're outside the faith and not really understanding maybe like what we believe, why we do what we do, it may seem a bit strange, but then once you start learning more about it, put it into practice, see how it affects your life, the fruits that it bears, Oh wow. You know, like you have to there's a saying kasi na parang the faith is like stained glass windows. You can't see the beauty unless you're inside the church. Oh. Yung parang ganun. Oh, oh. quote so, grabe. <laughs> quotable quote. <laughs> Wait, but I just want to add to like ang ganda na ng mga sinabi niyo because it's really true. Based and I mean, I guess I'm the longest Um, person here na nag parang yung alive yung nagbigay ng buhay kay Lord I accepted Jesus when I was 13 so grabe tagal ko ng kristyano <laughs> parang ganun um, but there is continue yung what really keeps you alive is the joy of the Lord and I think when you start really hearing testimonies of Christians or or any anyone in the spiritual world talagang laging sabihin ang hirap ng buhay but what keeps me going is the joy of the lord and and that's where i think tina eventually will realize what the fruits of the holy spirit is or are sorry yung i was just watching um yung sa netflix yung paul the apostle and tawa ako ng tawa kasi sabi ko Grabe tong si Jim Cavizel, no? Kawawa naman siya, na-demote Jesus Christ siya, tapos ngayon, look na lang siya. Oh, actually! 
So anyway, that's Totoo. just like a weird comment in my head. But yeah, um, um, ang ganda lang. I mean, do that. That the writing, the pacing was good, and it's really you know, uh, ganda nung eh, talaga totoo si Paul eh. Na iyak nga Paul ako di ba sa huli? Paul, Paul had, you know, Paul was shipwrecked multiple times. Shipwrecked. He was beaten to death. He was imprisoned multiple times. But he kept the faith and he finished the race. And and there is there is there is a spiritual joy that can fuel you that no amount of worldly pleasure can give. I, I'm sure in Stahari, Lahatayo, we have been crucified for our faith some one way or another, maybe not real yung totoong crucifixion but we have been judged we have been pushed away we have been rejected because of our faith but we keep on going because of the joy of the Lord and dude it's so easy to let go of narrow door because we're so busy but I just look forward every Friday to spending time with you guys because there is joy of the Lord here and, oh. and to hear people Listening, you know, yung mga messages ng mga tao na they're receiving God's word. And people will not know the sacrifice we do. Actually, even that whole point of like being rejected or being judged for my faith, hindi ko pa na-feel yun, honestly. Or kung may uh, mga nag-judge sa akin, magaling silang itago sa akin yun. So hindi ko uh-uh. alam. Like hindi ko, yeah, I don't really feel that. Buti na lang. I mean, I do think that in this day and age, it does take some courage because we're so against the tide. You know, what, co- what culture is right now, like the way, we, the way we believe and practice, it's so counter to everything. So to stand up in the faith, I think, yes, it takes some courage. But oh, I don't really feel like I was, yeah, I don't think, oh, I never felt like I was persecuted for it or whatever. Uh, um, but yes, it's Harry. Uh, no, no, no. I, I was just about to add something to that. Nah. Yeah, it's uh, ba? It's fine if we are not persecuted. Kasi yun din naman talaga yung, kumbaga, yung scenario na hindi tayo maapektuhan sa life of faith natin. But just in case that happens to us, it's also possible. Kasi that's uh, what Jesus mentioned. Uh, um, you will be persecuted. You will be hated by the world. Kasi you do not belong to the world anymore. And yun, that these words that are coming from Jesus ay sobrang importante talaga. And just like, parang nirarap ako na. And just like the talent that we, the way we understand it, the talent that we'll be receiving from Jesus, it's very important because um, somehow to answer the question also a while ago, maybe this is where we are not at the same. But uh, base kasi dun sa Matthew chapter 25, the talents were given based on their ability. So for mm-hmm. us, Uh, meron talagang ganun na um, kaya nga the more you know the more you receive parang yung ako lalo na sa Bible instructor I don't feel any pressure right now <laughs> 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 na parang I also have that duty to be able to share God's word and yun um, and every one of us really to be honest do, we don't have the same ability pero God is also considering us na ah, okay if this is a uh, until what you can bear, then this is what I'll give you. But what I ask from you is for you to work for it. And uh, that's the way we understand it. And uh, at the end of the day, if we are all believers, we really have this um, opportunity given by God na una natanggap natin yung love from Him through His Word. And that's why we will be able to share it to other people as well. Yeah. Share what we receive from God. <clears throat> That is that's the shared way. narrow door podcast to your friends. That's exactly. right. Subscribe, like, share Don't on your Facebook it. wall. Don't, Don't bury, bury it on, on the ground. ground like that servant did. <laughs> I know. Wow. So yeah, I I really like this. I mean, it may be difficult to accept maybe this angle of judgment and having to do our part in it as well that there is some responsibility that lies with us as well it's not just uh-huh. god yeah just giving and giving and giving and like asking nothing in return i i don't know that doesn't sit well with me either and i think when we look at these parables yeah it that just drives home that point 
it's a it's a good thing to to remember and again so important to 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 read your bible because again like i if we didn't discuss these parables i wouldn't have known that so thanks guys insta harry brother jay thank you for enlightening us on this parable of the talents and um i don't know how much longer we're going to do this parable series but I hope you're all enjoying it as much as we are. And if you guys want us to discuss more of these things, you can write to us and let us know the narrow door podcast at gmail.com where you can find Insta Harry, Brother J, Pastor D, you can find in the show description. Thank you for joining us today. All right. We're going to go eat now because we had talked about <laughs> food so much today. We're starving. <laughs> Bye. Bye. God bless. <laughs> <laughs>